today we're unboxing the Corsair AX860 power supply. This is a standard ATX form factor and it has 80 plus platinum efficiency. So let's get started. The reason I bought this is because of the platinum rating. I want a very high level of efficiency. And we'll talk more about that in a little while. Alright, how do we get this open? Alright. There it is. So we have a manual warranty guide, safety directions, beefy power cord, some small zip ties, mounting screws, and a case bag. Zip ties not so interesting, but nice to have. The screws are black, which is nice because most of my computer screws are silver. Case badge, not bad. So it's a pretty nice uh, little nylon bag. The Corsair name, probably Velcro. Yeah, this is good. So in the bag, we get all the expected stuff for this modular power supply. Plenty of wires. That should be plenty for our needs. Everything's basically black, as you can see. All right, the actual power supply. Comes in a bag. And I can hear even inside the bag, it sounds like it's encased in plastic. One has to wonder, will we ever use this bag again? And there it is. So it's, uh, it's got a little protective cover here over the input. It talks about the silent fan operation. Plenty of connectors. And I wondered about this switch here. It says fan control, hybrid or normal. So we will have to read about that. The actual power switch is on the other side. Interestingly, this labels one way, but on the other side, everything's upside down. So here it's normal, now it's backwards. I guess it just, I don't know, seems odd. There must be a reason. So this power supply, is, uh, like I said, it's the 80 plus platinum rating, which means that it is 92% uh, energy efficient at, at the peak, and it's a minimum of 90% efficient. It's a 120 volt power supply. It's the most efficient rating of any 110 volt power supply. Uh, of course, uses modular cabling. So this little sticker was on here. It says silent operation at low to moderate loads. In this mode, the fan will not spin. But it doesn't say if that's hybrid or the normal mode. So it's confusing. My understanding about the hybrid normal switch is that in hybrid mode, the power supply's fan will not come on uh, until up to 60% load, uh, which is what they advertise uh, as far as the quiet fan. The normal mode of the switch is the fan in operation at all times, although still in a, a variable speed manner based on the load of the power supply. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, the other nice thing about this, on the 12 volt rail, which is simply just the 12 volt part of the supply, it has a full 852 watts available. 
uh, which you won't see on a cheaper power supply. So they're they're giving you pretty much everything they can give you on the 12 volt rail, which is really the most important one. It also has a seven year warranty. So looks good. We'll have to fire it up and see how it works. Okay, here goes the protective coating. That looks a little better. Our motherboard's on and operating. And the power supply is in normal mode. The fan is spinning. If I switch to hybrid, the power supply fan stops. It's under a low load right now. And our motherboard is still in operation. All right, so here we have Ida64 running just the CPU and similar tests or benchmarks. It's running. And we have a speed of a wattage of around 185 watts. We have Furmark and Ada running. 250 watts. Still running the Corsair X 860 and our SAM rig that we've been running. So here we are with our other power supply. The system's at idle, consuming 130 watts. Same motherboard, same graphics card. So roughly, give or take 10 watts more over the other power supply. All right, here we are benchmarking CPU. Everything's running fast. And we're right at around 200 watts. Still with our other power supply. All right, now we got Furmark running. And with the CPU, we're 266 watts. Okay, let's take a look at the test results. Here we're comparing the Corsair to the thermal tank power supplies. Uh, we have three columns showing the watts consumed, both at system idle, full CPU load, and the full CPU and GPU load together. And for each of those states we have uh, two numbers. In each case the thermal tank is higher, it's using more watts. For system idle it's 9 watts, CPU is 18 watts, and combined is 19 watts, and that gives us three different percentages. In each case you can see the thermal takes using uh, measurably more power.